This is Eric Postable with Body Morph Pros. I'm here with Rock Force Fitness owner Jeremy and his lovely fiance Sherlina. How are you guys doing? I'm doing great. Doing great. Doing well. I'm gonna keep reaching across. I'm gonna hit, you. Right. I'm gonna hit you in the right. face with this at, at some point. So, uh, figures over. I know fitness went already. Physique uh, just ended as well. What are your thoughts on the show? I know you got a few clients that have been competing in here. Um, I thought figure was pretty stacked in some of those classes. Yeah, very competitive classes today. Um, quality con um, contestants. A lot of great athletes. Um, C and D class stacked. Yeah, a lot of good people. Yeah. A lot of contestants came out this week. It was thirty six in the F class. Thirty six girls in the F class. Mm -hmm. That's big. That's big. Yeah, for especially F. for that for that tall of a class, yeah. you usually don't get that many tall women. I mean, competing all at once, I guess. But um, so it looked like uh, they were kind of going more towards a, a bigger, harder look in some of the classes. I mean, would you agree with that? Um, hardness, yes. I think um, size. I think you know. I think they're going to. It looks like it's more like a physique. Um, they're going towards more physique look in the figure. Mm -hmm. I think it should be toned down a little bit. Okay. I think the girl should be hard, but um, I think it'd be toned down with the muscularity, definitely. Yeah, I was pretty shocked at some of the girls that were competing in there. And I did notice that some of the girls that were maybe overly sized didn't place quite as well. So maybe that was good that they kind of made that point. Like, hey, maybe she should be in physique. But there was a couple girls that had like striated glutes. Yeah. And I mean, there was, yeah. I was sitting next to um, one of uh, Steve Polfus. His girlfriend was in uh, class F. And uh, we were kind of laughing that some of those girls are more in shape than some of the men that are competing. Oh, the conditioning was key. <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of these girls came in with solid conditioning, yeah. and yes, better than the guys did. Yeah, and kudos to them because they got to work really hard to get legs in and glutes in and backs in and stuff. So kudos to them for, for rocking it out. But um, I know you brought a team with you. How many do you have competing here today? Um, I have two solid contestants, and I'm um, consulted with about six. Okay. So altogether about eight contestants today. Nice. And you're a New York guy, we could tell by the accent. New York guy, lived in New York, have athletes coming in from the East Coast, West Coast, and here in Chicago. So doing really well today, definitely. So I know you went out West Coast and then you just recently moved here to Chicago, like you yeah. just said. Uh, how do you like Chicago? Chicago? Now, were you here for the winter? I or was did here you just... for the winter. I was here for the cold winter. Don't like But it. you're from New York, so you're used to nah, cold, a right? A lot different, a lot different here. You guys got <laughs> minus, minus, negative 30 does not help me. Yeah. So, no, nah, I don't like it. So you, you <laughs> short up in the house for uh, six months? Yeah, like, you know, hibernating. So are you going to stick around for a while? I'll or is the weather going to be? I got athletes out here in Chicago. It's building, so I'll be here training them as well, yeah. Um, now, have you gotten out and had some of the, the good eats around here, the Portillos and the Giordanos and the Ginos? I haven't done that yet. Not yet. No? Maybe after the show. Maybe after she. She's been competing so long. Maybe that's yeah, uh, maybe that's the reason. Masters why. coming up, so maybe at the Masters Nationals, we'll be doing some of that. Okay. So tell us a little bit. I know you've competed recently, done really well at the local level. Now we're stepping up to the Masters Nationals. Um, are you working on some things? Are you changing some things up, or really just kind of ride in the wave? Um, well, after the last show, which was about a month ago in Wisconsin, um, we kind of talking about the Fox Cities. The Fox Cities showdown in Wisconsin. Um, it's a great show, but what we noticed was that I probably could put a little bit more size on. So initially, we were planning to do Junior Nationals, but decided that it'd be best to take the time to actually put some solid muscle on rather than trying to hold it out to do junior nationals and then you know hold it out again for masters mm -hmm. and so we just decided to you know forego this show and put it all into masters and so diets change i'm eating 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 um as you saw downstairs i always have that food with me um but basically trying to keep the conditioning but put some size on as much as we can for the next show now do you help her with her diet and stuff or do you yeah, kind of do we, things we do the nutrition i have a okay. team myself and my team back in new york team survival we work together on a nutrition program and a training program so now, I know you're also a doctor. Um, how does that work with dieting and trying to deal with patients and whatnot in the in the office? It, it takes a lot of structure. Um, sometimes it can be difficult, but when it's your lifestyle, it, it's just you make it work. You know, one of the biggest things for all competitors is it's diet. You know, you can get the training in because there are so many 24-hour gyms now that, you know, you if you're dedicated and you're committed to getting that training in, you can do it. But sometimes it can be difficult. Like, I'm a surgeon, so if I'm in the operating room, I can't stop in the middle of the surgery to go. Excuse me, I need to get some chicken. Right, right. And there are times when I feel that way. But, you know, I kind of, I play. I need a 12-blade cutting up the chicken on the patient. <laughs> right, t trust me. Um, but one of the key things is being prepared. I do make my meals for two or three days at a time, take all of my meals with me. If I'm in the hospital in the middle of the night, I tend to keep staples in my desk, like, you know. Emergency foods. Yes, so that I'm not tempted to go to the patient cupboard and eat the, you know, peanut butter and crackers. Mm. I've had two kids. Mm, the patient <laughs> so cabinet's fantastic. A lot of it has to do with just being prepared and, you know, having the right foods available and just 
like I keep my meals with me all the time. Yeah. Now, um, so surgeon, are you like a 24 on, couple of days off type of thing? How's your schedule work? Um, Can I ask that? Well, on I'm actually an OBGYN, so um, babies, you know, they come when they want to in the mm -hmm. middle of the night. We were laughing because just last week I had a night where I left to go to the hospital at six thinking I was going to do one C-section. I ended up doing four in a row, didn't come home till the next morning. That was one of the days I was caught without my food because I thought yeah. I was coming right back home. But um, kind of with my call schedule, I'll have two days on, um, two days off, and then I'll do weekends Friday to Monday. And so I kind of, if I know what my schedule is going to be, I, I plan my training yeah. around what my schedule is going to be. So on the days that I'm not on call, I make sure I get my, you know, the big training days right. in. So Maybe if I miss training on a call day, then it's not such a big deal. And I get up at 4.30 every morning and get that conditioning in because at least, you know, I know I got that in. Do you get to work out at the hospital, like squeeze in a quick cardio session yeah. if you have to? Um, they open a t Anytime Fitness close to the hospital. Oh, okay. So if there are days that I'm stuck there, I can run over to the Anytime Fitness and, you know, walk on the trail. It's time management. It's all time yeah. management. And, and yeah, and I guess what, you know, my next thing was really going to be, I, there's just a lot of people out there like, I just don't have time. It's like I here we, we, have, we have a surgeon, an OBGYN. I mean, like you said, babies come when they want. My wife was in labor for like uh, 59 hours it was. So, I mean, it, we, we know it. it you got to take it's the good with happen. the bad. So, yeah, you, you've learned to adapt to the schedule. So it's like if you can do it. There really shouldn't be a whole lot of excuses. People definitely do it. You know, I mean, I'm not going to do it because I'm lazy. So that has nothing to do with time management. I'm done because I'm just fat and lazy. But. It's all time management, though. But she, you know, she makes it a priority. You know, things you've got to give up if you want to compete here, if you want to do this. At this level, you've got to give up some things, some personal exactly. things. So exactly. she, puts, you know, she puts it for, foremost first. So that's it. That's how it is. So I know you, uh, you do a lot of coaching stuff. If people want to get a hold of you, how, do they, how would they do that? Oh, man, Rock Force Fitness. You go to my uh, Facebook page at Rock Force. You know, I'm dealing with pros, amateurs, top national athletes. So um, we've got about six pros right now in the IFBB, um, 15 to 20 amateurs. So... We're growing, we're growing. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I've seen some of your work, and you, you do a great job. So, obviously, I want to go on hard. New York, we like them hard. We like the girls coming in tight. But they like it like, at the national level. The juniors, you see, they, they like that harder look. And I told a lot of people that were at the state level, they're like, oh, I'm going to do juniors. I'm like, you got to get hard. And like, really? I'm like, they like the hard look at yeah, the national level. Yeah, but the misconception level. at the state level, a lot of these girls come at the state level. The state judges look at these girls. They don't want them hard. But when you get to the national, you have to be hard. hard. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then you'll get a hard girl at a, at a state show, and they, and they, and they put her poor placing. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the girl comes here, and then boom, she's taking first place. Yeah. Maybe, so, maybe what we should have is a Rock Force bodybuilding show. Maybe you should put on a show. I would promote a show in a heartbeat. Yeah. I would promote a show. If somebody approached me and said, listen, you want to help promote a show? Yes. You know, I was um, with Melanie Specko, an IFPB pro. I was talking with her, and um, she did the Toronto Pro, and I, and I actually sponsored the Best Poser Award okay. for the Toronto Pro. So. So if somebody wanted to promote a show, I would definitely get involved with that. Definitely be part of me. So. Maybe that's uh, we should start putting the the, yeah, the seeds down. Let's fitness. do it, man. Let's yeah, go in together. Go. I'll I'll do it in a heartbeat. I'd love to put on a show. Uh, you know, people have asked me. I've asked. I've had people out of state ask me if I want to put on a show. So let's go. Right, so let's let's talk, man. That'd be, let's do it. We'll have Doctor Bogart as a sponsor. There we go. You know. You'd be delivering babies in the lobby. Yeah, you can make it happen. You just <laughs> deliver them right in the lobby. We'll just keep, keep it moving. Keep one stop moving. shop. Awesome. Well, hey, guys, I know you want to go enjoy the rest of the show and your diet, and you probably got better things to do than sit here on this uh, couch in this hot room. So I uh, appreciate you stopping Thank by. Thank you very much. Jeremy, Thank Shalina, this is Eric Posey with Body Morph Pros. We'll see you guys back at the show. Thanks a lot for stopping by, guys.